Hey everyone, I'm Nick in the States, and today we're going to finally, uh, like two months too late, do the wrap-up video for the contest I had for giving away some strings with uh, this rather interesting guitar collection picture. Um, and basically, uh, what I ended up doing was anyone that actually made an attempt at it, I reached out to individually, um, although I've only heard back from one of the people, um, and each one of those guys is getting three strings. So the first set of strings shipped out uh, over or last weekend to go to Australia, so I should get there soon. Um, check your private messages if you did comment on it, because you should have an inquiry for me, or reach out, and I'll send you out some strings. Fun stuff. But we did have a request, since we did that, um, to identify the guitars in this picture. So I'm gonna kinda go through it uh, left to right and try and identify all the ones that are on there. So if we look in the stand-up case, um, and I've forgotten the name, but it's the, the little uh, Traveler guitar was the one from Back to the Future. Um, there is, uh, I believe that's a pink Charvel. Um, uh, black Tele, uh, American Standard Tele. Um, a green American Standard Stratocaster Limited Edition with a matching surf green headstock. Um, coming over to the big pile of guitars, we'll do the floor first. So in front of the left is a three-quarter scale 59 Melody Maker. Behind that, um, you can just barely see it, is a double cutaway 61 Melody Maker, 61-62. To the right of that, with the gold Bigsby and the red face, is an ES-135 from uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Immediately behind that, you can just kind of see a jazz body with double cutaway. That's a Barney Kessel uh, standard or custom. Um, it's not the one with the big weird music note in the headstock. It's kind of a standard, more ES-175 appointed one. Immediately behind that, you can see a jazz box tobacco burst with a nice little cutaway. That guy's a 61 Super 400 um, with the Venetian cutaway, the sharp one, um, and two gold covered PAFs in it, which is a sweet guitar. Coming back to the front, you can see a bullion gold uh, SG standard. Uh, immediately behind that, it's actually a, a late 60s ES 175 single pickup. Um, behind that is a 1970. 69 or 71, I can't remember, um, L5 custom, uh, CES, that's a, a really sweet guitar. So both that and the Super 400 were actually my grandfather's guitars. Um, back to the front row, it's a Les Paul Classic with a AAA Plus top on it um, from early 90s, like 95, 97. Um, behind that is a SJ200 Junior, um, which I think it's like a similar to a Bonnie Raitt signature model. Behind that, you can see two necks. That's a mid-80s uh, EDS 1275 double neck in cream. Um, I had that guitar for the better part of a month, and it's just fun. Uh, back to the front, you've got a, a 74 or 76 Les Paul Custom with a TP6 tailpiece um, that was bought for an absurd cheap amount of money. It was crazy, the deal. Uh, next is a 74 Les Paul Deluxe in, uh, in natural. Then you've got a, a Harmony slash Monterey acoustic. Going up to the wall, left hand side, you've got two ES125 TDCs. Uh, I think one of them, originally only it was a, a TC, so no dual pickup, and it was added. And the second one is an original, both have Bigsby's on it, uh, from early 60s. Below that is actually an Epiphone, it's not a Sorrento, but it's very similar. It's basically an ES125, these with a single cutaway, um, but from Epiphone, made in America, from the early 60s, but it used to have this big, crazy, ugly, white, plastic pickguard, um, and that got pulled off, and that's got a big speed on it. Coming over to the wall, uh, Tropero is a ES335 Custom Shop Showcase Edition. Originally would have had uh, EMGs on it, but they've been swapped for um, Seymour Duncan uh, Fat Cats, I think, um, with a, uh, a, a big speed trim on it. Next to that's a 95 or a 97 ES-335 Tobacco Burst with Flame Top and Nickel Hardware. And then last but not least, I think on that row is an ES-345 in a really, really deep walnut um, from the early 70s. Next row down on the left, you've got an ES-64 or 65 ES-330 single pickup uh, Bixby, and that's the shorter neck, um, the non-L variety of the later 60s. Next over the right is a black ES-135, Bigsby equipped with uh, two P90s in it. And uh, next as we go over is a Guild, I always screw these up, I think it's a Starfire, um, two pickup from the 70s. And last but not least is a, is a ES-335 style EB something or other, um, 
believe that's also an early 70s piece or a late 60s piece uh, of bass. So there you go. Um, and then there's a little mandolin-y, I figure what those are called. Um, but as best that I can do uh, from memory, and I haven't played a lot of them, that's, uh, that's that. So anyway, uh, thanks for commenting. It's kind of a fun little deal. Um, and uh, like I say, if you commented, you made an attempt, and uh, check your your YouTube messages and, uh, and get back to me. Cool. Thanks. Uh, as always, I'm Nick in the States, and I've got issues. Take care.